Today I'm sharing with you some maternity and baby purchases that we've made for our baby boy and for myself. The last haul video that I did was my newborn essentials um, video which was quite a while ago and we've managed to gather a lot more things now. Um, some of the more substantial things which I'll show you and the things that we've invested a lot of time and money in. So that's going to be the main focus of this video, it's going to be sort of like the bigger purchases but I'll also share some of my favourite baby clothes and some clothes that I've bought for myself to um, accommodate my growing bump because I'm now 31 weeks pregnant which is insane. I've only got nine weeks to go and um, yeah we've got most of the things that we need. Not everything, there's only two or three things that I can think of that we haven't got yet. Um, but yeah, on the home stretch and hopefully baby will be here in nine weeks and no longer than that. But first, in case you're wondering about this makeup that I'm wearing today, which is a super pretty rose gold tone smoky eye and so appropriate for spring, very nice and soft and very delicate. So if you'd like to see how I created this look, you can go and watch my video at the Mum's Eye View channel. There will be a link to the video in the description block box below and you can see exactly how I created this look. But now let's get into the baby haul. I'm absolutely surrounded with things here but I think I'll start with the maternity things because there are only a few of them and then I can get into the baby stuff. This one here to start, it's this nursing dress here, this flowery nursing dress from Asda and I think it's really nice and flowy. The print is lovely, especially if you're pregnant during spring and summer and you're looking for something light and comfortable. So it has this panel at the front here, as you can see, which kind of covers your modesty and your breasts. And it's easy enough for you to just pull it down and feed your baby. This was 14 pounds and I got this in a size 12. I should have got it in a size 8 or 10, it is slightly too big for me, but I am thinking that now I want to be as comfortable as possible. Then I also picked up this pack of two um, skater dresses, and they're like high neck, like this round neck. They have little sleeves there. Very flowy, very comfy, and they are so flattering on my figure. I got them in a size 8 and I absolutely think it was the right decision for me. The other one was this black and white floral, floral dress. Weirdly enough, this one here, the black one, is tighter than the blue one, but they're both size 8 and they came together in the same pack and this one is sort of like more fitted than this one. The last thing I got was a set of pyjamas and I got these thinking about the hospital state and also at home as well because I'm getting very uncomfortable in my pyjamas here and I was so pleased with these, they are so soft and so comfortable. These are the trousers and they're black spotty trousers and they come really high up over the bum. It's not tight around your ribs or around your bum or anywhere else which is so comfy and I think I got this in a size 8 to 10 as well. I like that it's a dark colour, especially for the hospital because obviously things will be happening, bleeding and whatever. And that's everything that I got um, for myself. Let's move on to baby clothes and clothing items and things. And the first thing is these shoes that my mum brought from Brazil. She actually brought loads and loads and loads of shoes. And I think I'm going to have to put him in a pair of shoes every single day so that he can get enough wear out of them. Um, these are from a Brazilian brand called Pimpolho and I'm not sure you can get them in the UK, but they're just the cutest pair of kind of trainers, I don't know, shoes type. And look how tiny they are. They just fit in my hand like that, as you can see, and I've got pretty small hands. I think they are adorable. Then I have this little comfort blankie from Asda as well. This was four pounds and this is so, so, so cute. It's got a little teddy and he's holding on to the blankie. I think it would be nice for him to have with him in his Moses basket or in his um, buggy when we're going out. It's just really soft. Also from Asda, I got this um, sleeping bag, not just six months, and this was 12 pounds. Baby is completely zipped up all the way 
down to the bottom and he's quite snug and cozy in there. This little cardigan here was from Boots and how cute is this? It's just the most adorable thing ever. And this was not two, three months and it cost £12. <laughs> quite excessive for such a small cardigan and he's not even going to wear it for that long but I just couldn't resist it. I thought it was really cute. And then in Next I found lots and lots of cute baby things. It was kind of like my favourite baby store to shop at and I've got these I don't know I don't know why I'm getting these things he's not going to get enough wear out of them but look at this cute little shirt and this was not uh, three to six months so maybe he will wear with this a bit more and this was 10 pounds and to go with the shirt I got a pair of trousers and these are denim style I don't know if they're denim I think they're softer than denim they were nine pounds and I got it in three to six months as well, but look how tiny they are. And to go with these two, I also got this little jumper that he can put on top of the shirt. And his daddy has a very similar jumper. Um, so it'd be nice that he they'll be matching. And this was also nine pounds in three to six months. Also from Asda, I got this adorable dressing gown. And this is also in blue and white was not to six months and the price was seven pounds and I thought this would be nice to wrap him in um, after bath time and it's got a little hood with little ears and it's just very very cute. I think I've said cute about a hundred times already. So these were all of the baby clothing that I selected to share with you. They're just some of my favourites obviously. We've got a lot more than that but I don't want to bore you to tears. Let's get on to some of the actual bigger purchases and one of the um, purchases that we invested a lot of time and effort researching was a baby monitor, a video monitor and we ended up going for this BT um, video baby monitor 7500 light show that's the name of it the main reason why we went for it is because my sister-in-law has a BT baby monitor video monitor that she's used for the last two years and it's been great for her so I just wanted something reliable I didn't want anything that was controlled via the internet because internet connections and Wi-Fi are just not always reliable. So this one is sort of like a local connection between the monitor and the uh, the actual camera. And it had everything that we wanted. I bought this from Amazon, but you can get this from anywhere um, pretty much. So in the box, you get all your cables and your wires, but you also get this here, which is the unit that goes in your baby's room with the camera. This is the camera bit there. And you can control the camera um, from your parent unit, from your monitor. You can move it, you can see around it so it's not like a fixed camera. You can also control it. It has a temperature monitor so it monitors the temperature in your baby's room. It also has lullabies and it has this very cool light show here at the top which is displayed at the ceiling. So it's projected into the ceiling and your baby can see like little stars and planets. So do let me know if you'd like to see a review of this monitor and I'll show you how it works and share all the features on a separate video. This was 179 pounds, I think full price, but you can find it for cheaper prices out there. I think we paid 149. Uh, so we've got £30 off. It's not the cheapest baby monitor you can get, but it's for me, it was the one that had everything that we needed. So we are quite happy with it so far. We tried and tested it. Obviously, we don't have a baby yet, but we've tried and tested it in the house and it works really well. From Mother Care, I got another changing mat for the downstairs area. And this is in a very cute yellow print with giraffes and elephants and polka dots and it's just a regular changing mat but I thought it was really nice and it was only $9.99 so it wasn't all that expensive and very cute. Another thing I got from Mother Care was this uh, baby carrier three position. I've heard some people say that they're not very good these ones because they don't give you enough support for your back. Um, this is what it looks like there you can carry your baby forward facing or facing you there and I just thought this would be useful like if I'm around the house and I want to get things done and the baby's crying and he just wants to be held 
um, that that would be useful. They can be quite expensive. I think this one was £30 or £25, something like that. If it doesn't work, at least I didn't spend a huge amount of money. So let me know if you've tried one of these before and what you think about this carrier in particular from Mother Care if you have tried this one before. From Amazon as well we got this Munchkin Nappy Change Organiser which will go in his changing table or whatever it is that we end up getting as a changing area for him. It just looks like a good idea and it saves time having it all ready when you're changing his nappy which I'm sure will be several times a day so yeah just got that. Also from Amazon we got this Tommy Tippy Sungenic Nappy Disposal System. It's just a nappy bin and um, it locks in the smells of the dirty nappies. It's got like a little twist mechanism and um, it is a bit of a gimmick but it wasn't that expensive. So I got that and I hope it will be useful. I know some people will disagree and they'll say that I'm just wasting money, that I could just throw the nappies in the normal bin. Um, but as a first time parent you do get silly things and I know that this is a bit of a luxury and it's not essential, definitely not. But if it prevents his room or the house from smelling of dirty poo nappies then surely it's a good thing. It wasn't all that expensive so yeah. Now I've got some things for baby's nursery which is very exciting. We decided for now to keep the office as the nursery because He's only going to need a very small amount of space anyway and that kind of made the decision for us of what kind of cot to go for because we couldn't fit a regular size cot in the office nursery space. So we decided to go for a mini cot and we went for the Tutti Bambini, the Katie Slay mini cot. I think that's what it's called but I'll have everything annotated down below. It's a bit smaller than your traditional sized cot and it fits in the space that we have. So we've bought it and it's sitting downstairs ready to be built but we haven't built it yet. So we got his cot in white because I wanted everything to stay fairly neutral um, and that way I can play around with bedding and colours like that, just decorating bits and bobs in colour and have the majority of things um, fairly neutral. And so to go with the cot we got some nursery decoration items from Asda from the Adorable Ted line and this is what the whole line looks like. You've got um, the cot bedding stuff, you've got the storage baskets, the little rug, uh, the nappy organiser and the curtains. It's like a creamy beigey colour with um, little teddy bears everywhere and I think it's just really nice and sweet. We also have pretty much everything else from the range that I showed you at the back apart from the nappy organisers because we already have another nappy organiser. I'm going to take the lampshade out of the box so you can see what it looks like. And this is what the lampshade looks like. It's from the same adorable Ted print and it's just really nice and cosy and cute. The last two items of this video are the pushchair and the car seat. So we went for the Quinny Zap Extra 2 pushchair in Rockin' Black, I think that's the name of the colour, and we got it from John Lewis, I'm not going to bring it up here because it's so heavy. So we chose this pushchair for three main reasons. The first one, it's suitable from birth, the second, it's very 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 lightweight, and the third one, it's really affordable compared to other pushchairs that do similar sort of things. Now. You can put them, the babies in them from birth as long as you buy what's called a newborn insert or newborn inlay that Quinny sells separately, which we bought obviously. And um, you know, when you start adding on all of these things, then the pushchair becomes more expensive. But even with all the add ons, it was slightly cheaper than other pushchairs that we'd seen, and they were all much heavier. And it was something that was really important to me that our bush chair was light enough for me to carry. I'm not very strong to be able to hold things, um, especially when you have a baby as well. So it was really important to me. It's also the push chair that my sister-in-law has used for the last two and a half years with her son. And I've seen it and I know it's a good push chair. It's sturdy enough and it was 200 and 75 pounds from John Lewis. If you go to kittycare.com 
they do the same pushchair for £200. So I went on the John Lewis price match scheme and I sent them an email and asked if they would price match that pushchair for the same price that Kitty Care was doing and they agreed to do that which was great because we saved £75 and we got the pushchair for £200. If you want to get that pushchair in a different colour, I think red or blue or pink or whatever, you can get it for £200 in John Lewis but they were just charging £275 for the black version. So that's what we got and then to go with the pushchair we got our car seat which I have here and I will attempt to lift it to show it to you because it's not as heavy as the pushchair. So when you're making your decision to buy your pushchair, you're pretty much making the decision of what car seat you're going to go because they don't all fit in the same frames. And the one that fits in the Quinny is the, oh my god, this is really heavy, the Maxi Cozy Styles. And we went for this one, which is the Maxi Cozy Pebble. And the colour, I think it's just plain black. And this is what it looks like. Oh, this is really heavy. So I'll just pop that on the floor now for a minute. So that's the Maxi Cozy Pebble car seat. And it's suitable from birth, I think, up to six months or something like that. And then after that, you get another car seat um, where they face forward. And this one is back facing, so they face the back of the car not the front. They have the Pebble Plus, I think, which is sort of like the one up from that one, but I didn't see the need of getting that one. I think the Pebble was more than suitable for what we wanted. The Pebble was £150, if I'm not mistaken. We also got it from John Lewis. So that's the end of everything that I had to share with you today. I'm sure that I've forgotten a few very important things, um, but I think these are sort of like the most important and the, the biggest bits that we've got for baby. I will be sharing his nursery when it's ready and I'll be doing a nursery tour so you can see how we ended up organising everything and putting everything together. But I don't know whether I'll be doing enough shopping now um, to warrant another haul video. I've only got a month and a half to go. So I'll probably just be sharing things like my hospital bag and his nursery and things like that. But if you have any other other requests of baby or maternity or of mum and, and whatever videos related to pregnancy and babies, do let me know in the comments below and I'll make sure to film them for you. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you very soon. Bye. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my top five concealers of all time and this doesn't change very often. I'm very loyal to my concealers. Some of these I've had for absolutely ages and another thing you will notice as well is that I tend to go for high-end concealers instead of drugstore or high street concealers.